Welcome to my CG Bear channel about CG graphics where I make every video special and interesting learning with me. Each video become more interesting and interesting every time. This is a place where you can improve your skills and learn something new. Support my channel with like and subscribe. Hey everyone, my name is Julia, I'm a painter and CG artist and welcome to my new video. Today I will tell you a lot of interesting about UV unwrapping and it's my new video, a lot of interesting information and also UV unwrapping. Go to Blender, I have done this model before on my channel, if you are interested in the whole process go to my video, the link will be in the description. And now I will tell you in detail about UV unwrapping. Blender has a special UV editing window, let's go into it. In order to make UV, we need to cut at the model and select our faces, hot key, Ctrl E, Mark C. I cut the model like this, that's not at all, we need still to cut the handle. In general, you should avoid uncut cycle, because they will not display correctly on your texture with defects. Select our faces and cut again. We also go to bottom of the model. We need to make the circle. What we are cutting will be a separate object on our UV unwrapping. If you need to remove the cut you made earlier, hotkey Ctrl R, clear seam. Now we do it right. We don't have a circle at the top, so we live in this way. To see our unfolding, you need to select our polygons in edit mode and they themselves appear after isolation. After that, hotkey U and unwrap. After you do this, your UV unfold. Also to save space on our UV, I will cut this element, like last time in do and again unwrap. In order to move elements of UVs, you need to select them, for example, hotkey L, and now you can move, rotate, and scale. I will look for the place of our UV.
After that, you can check yourself if you did everything right. We will now apply the texture now to all. I will leave the link in the description under the video. We connect this texture, texture, image, texture, and we connect. Don't forget to turn on display of materials. As we can see, everything works well. After that, you can add your own texture or do hand paint in Blender. To do this, you need to create a new texture. I will show you how to do it. You can change the size. When once connected, you can go to hand paint tab. Now I will show you how to export our texture. To do this you go to UV editing window, UV export UV layout. Now we can see that it's all on the texture, namely the UV unwrap itself. Now for example we can open it in Photoshop. What mistake you can make this image and save image. In this case you will not save the UV unwrap but the black texture itself. So thank you for watching this video. See you in my new video. It was your favorite CG Bear channel.